It's a huge amount of money. Tens of billions are used to conduct the U.S. Census, which hits mailboxes in just two weeks. And guess what? You paid for it. The Morning Insiders found a way the feds could be making some of that taxpayer money back. But Lauren Victory discovered no one's ever really tried. I am responsible for eight state regional director Marilyn Sanders. And to boil it down, my job is me. Nationwide field operations associate director Tim Olson. We sat down with the two U.S. Census Bureau leaders to talk all things population count, but mostly still on the topic of money to discuss financials. The total cost of conducting the 2020 census is like a, about 15 billion dollars. How does it add up to that much? There's a technology for the first time we're using uh, iPhones and laptops and specially produced YouTube videos to recruit census takers who will be paid more money than ever before. I'm a census taker. The feds are also using satellites for the first time to help confirm addresses and they developed a virtual way to respond to the census. All this tech adds up. Olson didn't have an exact cost, but said it's part of the $15 billion budget. I believe the, the efficiencies that will be gained in 2020 will certainly outweigh and uh, compensate for those costs, those investments that we've made. Why not try to collect this data through some other measure like income tax returns? There's been a lot of research on how we conduct the census. That's not in the cards for 2020, but here's something to consider. Everyone is required by law to respond to the census. It's easy, safe, and important. The penalty if you don't, up to $5,000. Your community needs you. We asked the Census Bureau, Department of Justice, and Department of Commerce for a log of all the people fined for failing to submit to the 2010 census. Each request came back empty. One even said, we have never exercised that right. Yes, they can. At least one and a half million people were missed in the 2010 census. If fined the max $5,000 for refusal, that would offset half of the $15 billion budget. Enforcing penalties might also inspire faster and more census responses, meaning less money spent to dispatch those census takers. Laura Victory, CBS 2 News. Well, the Census Bureau tells CBS2 that researchers have weighed the pros and cons of fine enforcement. Their supposed conclusion? Well, most people will respond when they understand the way the census benefits their communities.